All right, all set? Check. Good yeah. Okay, for this segment, we're talking about uh, free sparring and specifically about foot motion. Okay. Yuri Jubi Sogi uh, is going to be your fighting stance. All right. So you, if you creep it out too much here, then you're going to expose too much of the vital here. So it's going to be almost in line. Your feet are going to be about 45 degrees. Your knees are going to be bent. You can be ready to push off the back uh, foot on the ball. Uh, another stance you can use is a side stance, which is uh, great for front leg motions, but it's a little bit more difficult for bringing that roundhouse kick from, from behind. But either stance uh, has different strategies uh, hooked to it, and your opponent's going to be able to you know, if they're a seasoned fighter, they're going to be anticipating what you're going to be doing out of those stances. So, um, when you, you always bow to your opponent before he had started. On your foot motion, you try not to, say, step. Like, if you're going to do a switch, I don't want to switch or, uh, not switch, but, you know, switch my stance into there. I always want to be at a distance where I know that they're gonna have a difficult time reaching me, okay? So if I have to change my stance, I can either switch here or I can step back away. I probably don't wanna step in unless I'm planning on doing something, right? So if you're, if you like to, if you're setting up something for a closed stance, step, step back and then work your way in, okay? Now, there's always, in your stance, you're going to be sliding in, out, switching in, out. Okay? So these are just in, out motions. And this is your Chunjin and your Hujin, right? So I want you to do this with me. Get in your uh, nice uh, fighting stance, put your hands up, okay? And your opponent's just going to stay there, your, or your imaginary opponent, if you're doing uh, this on your own. Okay, so we're just going to hoojin in and hoojin out, switch, hoojin in, hoojin out, switch. Okay, how we doing? You got it? Okay, let's do it five more times. Ready? Hoojin in, back, in, back, switch, in, back, switch, in, back, switch, in, back, switch. Okay, not, uh, not too difficult, right? Now your side motion, when you shuffle, um, what you don't want to do is step and cross up. So I, lot, I see a lot of, of fighters, they'll be going around stalking their opponent like this and they're just waiting to get kicked. Okay, because when you're crossed up, it's difficult for you to do anything. So when you shuffle, you're gonna shuffle around this way right shuffle to the inside you can shuffle to the outside but be careful uh let's do the shuffle real quick so we're going to shuffle to the right so shuffle so we're gonna shuffle to the left what foot moves first shuffle to the right left foot moves no okay we want our right foot moving in the direction we're going Left foot moving in the direction we're going. Okay. So let's do that real quick. Follow along with me. Okay, going right, right foot moves. Going left, left foot moves. Going right, right foot moves. Going left, left foot moves. Okay, all the time keep your hands up. Okay, so we can, we know how to shuffle now. Okay, we know how to switch, and we know how to step through. Okay, and when you step through, you're closing forward, you're closing distance. Stepping back, you're creating distance. Okay, now, they both have their advantages, right? Depending on your distancing. So when you, when he wants to throw a kick, say uh, back like right house, and I step in, He's going to have to kick past me, right? 
But then I got to worry about this stuff. Okay, his hands. If I'm at a certain distance, and we'll get into distancing a little bit later, if he throws his uh, roundhouse kick and I just I step back and I'm not fast enough, he's going to run me down. Okay, he might follow up with a roundhouse, roundhouse, right? Boom, and there, there I'm stuck because. My opponent's always gonna be able to run forward faster than I can run backwards, okay? Um, so those are some of the basic foot motions, okay? Uh, one other one I wanna show you, we're gonna put Mr. Caden right here in front. So side motion, so sliding out to the side or in a close stance, sliding to the inside. Okay, let's do it from this side. So, sliding this way or sliding this way. Okay, notice this is our open stance. If I slide in a closed stance to the outside, I better have a good plan because I'm crossed up, right? We talked about our legs being crossed up and not being able to do anything. Uh, but there are options for that, right? So if I slip through this side, oh. I did a foot swing. Okay, that would be that would be one of those uh, options that you, you know you better have a plan for if you're going to do that. If I go if I slip to the inside, I've got to deal with this stuff. Okay, so what's my plan for sliding the inside? Okay, it might be something where I uh, create an opening and fill it with something. You guys remember, that's what sparring's all about, is creating an opening and filling with something. So it's just a game of chess, checkers, poker, all combined. It's the ultimate game of tag. So practice your footwork. The shuffle in and out, you can also do that from the side stance. Shuffle in. So if I were side stance, shuffle in, shuffle out. Okay. My switch takes a little longer, but I can do it. Uh, so, uh, both those stances are useful, um, but get used to them both and be very careful about walking around your opponent, okay? Because anytime you walk, you're crossed up. So I just want to shuffle, okay? Shuffle slide. All right, that's it for now. See you next time. Cheer it. Kunye.